there are six compelling reasons why the UTA administration is acting in panic immediately as the Mueller Umoja team announced that there will be the second phase of mass action. And if that statement from Raila Odinga think tank was a trap, then I think uh, those on the other side are already falling for that trap. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bold analysis. I want us to make some observations um, over this weekend. Uh, to, on Saturday 15th, um, President William Ruto was in two areas, this deputy. He went to Narok to launch a project and uh, the visibility, even on his social media team, is not on that project, but is on the campaign trail. What is said at the campaign? Why in Narok, in the podium, the discussion was about Rai Lodinga calling for mass action, the second phase of mass action. They went again to uh, Nakuru, not Nakuru, in Kiabu, Kiamba, with the Regadi Geshagwa daring Rai Lodinga to go back to mass action. The discussion again was about why Rai Lodinga is calling Mandamano. The same day, there was a tree planting in Nyandarwa that was uh, spearheaded uh, by the Gadi Geshagwa. He carried a host of friendly politicians from Mount Kenya and even others including Didimas Baraza to go to Nyandarwa and a tree planting event was all about Rai Lodinga. Now, in Narok, William Ruto was indeed in Nyoro. You as uh, the son of Mudamba, a man I really hold with high esteem, um, Wycliffe Musalem Davadi, attended a burial in his village in Sabatia. The discussion was about Raelo Dinga and the issues about Azim uh, Mandamano. I remember I've seen a clip where uh, Cleophas Malala tried to sell the UD agenda there and it, back, it backfired. So he was technically even chased out, um, um, kind of chased out of that event. From this Saturday, I am making an observation that immediately people woke up in the morning. They woke up with the strategy. We are going to fuel our cars and fuel our choppers and go to the people to start campaigning and the narrative we want to drive today is about mass action. I'm just asking this way. This coming a day after Oparanya in an exclusive interview said that amongst the emissaries that William Ruto sent to Rai Lodinga, the person that was leading that was um, Nurdin Aji. You know, Nurdin Aji is the son to the former co-chair of BBI, the one who was behind BBI, the father is uh, the Yusuf Haji, it's the son of the Yusuf, Yusuf Haji. And uh, maybe we'll look at why him, why probably was him, we will have to look at <coughs> we have to look at that. But the, the, the clear point was Oparanya confirming that it is William Ruto who looked for Rai Lodinga the very day and the talks were held for nearly six hours and after those six hours, uh, the press briefing, the parallel press, brief, parallel press briefings were done to call off that mass action. And I've always said, sometimes it is very good to have elders because the Monday 30th was going to be the boiling point for mass action. And I think the intelligence told President Ruto uh, look here, uh, you need to find a way to avert this. And because Raila is also a man who is a veteran, the man who has been in Kenyan politics for quite some time, I think he, he has decided, okay, fine, let's listen to it. The current actions <laughs> of the politicians this weekend, especially this Saturday, even from Friday, when William Ruto was in Machakos, it was all about promises. And in fact, in Machakos, he promised 
that finally the price of gong is going to drop to 150 we are going to see you know what what that was that is to please the public and indeed it can be so he can reduce it to manage because he knows that one of the reasons Raila is pushing uh, the, the, the UTA on is the cost of hunger. So those who said they cannot subsidize consumption, I don't know what was the magic then to drop it to 150, but it's a matter of wait and see. We're going to see whether that hunger is going to be they're going to stay there for long. And they, hey, the moment you can find that 150, I'm telling you, we'll be in it. So um, there are a lot of radical decisions are being made in terms of what is happening and there seems to be William Bruto is acting in panic. I want to tell you why the second phase of mass action that Azimiola Umoja spoke about is sending the UDA team in panic. Kindly subscribe to our channel. Allow me to remind you of our fundraiser that is going on to release this young couple um who um yeah the, the wife delivered and she was stuck in the hospital after bleeding for quite some time and there was other complications so she had uh she needed a bit of that distant support but the bill ballooned to eighty thousand. so i interviewed them here and again for those who had not watched that video i'm going to pin this video towards the end of this that video towards the end of this analysis so you'll watch it at the end make sure you watch this analysis to the end and um, we're just doing a fundraiser, a 50 shillings challenge. Uh, one week, I believe that by Friday, we should have pushed, uh, got it. Yeah, and at least also get a bit of support for the child and the young man. Now, six reasons. <laughs> six reasons. And you can also throw in your guesses. That is what I'm saying. And let me take you to the first one here is that if Raila gets successfully caused that mass action and it, it boils up, there is a high likelihood that the military might, be, might actually swing into action. And I want to tell you why. In December, when Raila Odinga was supposed to have a parallel Jamukuri day in uh, Kamkunji, in Jakaranda, that meeting was cancelled last minute and he flew to us in what was actually rumored that um, the u american team tried to talk to him to turn down in um, the critics against uh, william ruto and it is believed that there is there was some sort of ceasefire one in december during african leaders summit in america that a deal could have been brokered temporarily and if you're keen after that uh, i think Raila toned down a bit and ruto came back by that team it's when he was sending writing the letter to the national assembly speaker in the senate on creation of the office of the opposition leader even though the uh, zemio team rejected it saying that uh, uh, if it was going to be done in parliament then it looks like a token or a bit of a, a, a trap so it so happened. Then in February, uh, the whistleblower report came up and Raila re energized again. So he did 24, uh, I think a total of 24 rallies across the country. The 24 rallies culminated into mass action or culminated into a 14 days ultimatum. Then there was mass action. So the, this Second one on 30th when uh, they talked to William Ruto to drop uh, that uh, mass action, it was the second ceasefire. Now that second ceasefire, it could have been brokered by the America, yes, and the foreign powers, but it was not a local solution. And it's the local solution now within parliament. In any case, Raila heads back to mass action. This is it. The anchor solution that people are looking at for because it seems UD have got their uh, headline and that the, the, the Zmio takes the headline the only solution available is the military guys swimming into action to rescue the situation if the political solution cannot work then <laughs> the military is on table it can be floated 
And that is not something that uh, the truthful man would want to hear. And I'm saying this because when, um, as Raylo, when the Raylo Dinga team were speaking about this matter, they were speaking about the, some two things that had happened. One is that the communication between the, but, the representatives of Azimio's but, bipartisan team and the other side were not there. There was no communication. In fact, let me tell you, the fact that we left this thing in parliament was a big blunder. This bipartisan needed to get a chairman who is not even from parliament. You need to get a chairman who is even a UN envoy or commonwealth or someone or members of the of the clergy, some senior member of the clergy, to be the chairman of that. So there is already the linking between the two. Now, understanding that trailer has opted back to the people means that the bipartisan team has failed. What is telling? What is saying about the bipartisan talks goes on alongside parallel uh, rallies? You will compare the messaging, and the messaging at those rallies will actually tell you that whatever is happening on the other side is not going to yield fruits. So when as Zimio supporters are told that, um, no, let's not even so as Zimio supporters, when Kenyans will be told that, okay, uh, maybe then we need to go to plan A, we need to head to revert back to plan A. What is the understanding? It exposes the hypocrisy of William Ruto to ceasefire. It will, this thing will remain on Ruto because it's Ruto who stepped down first. It's Ruto who looked for Ailo Dinga. It's Ruto who is the president of the Republic of Kenya. So he's bestowed this responsibility. The moment people head back, the understanding is very clear that you didn't mean well in the negotiations. But this is it. As we talk now, the government is struggling with a very with fair share of its failures. Delays in paying civil servants. The county governments are yet to receive their pay from, from January. Ambassadors are crying. Contractors are heading to government offices, uh, removing clothes in front of government offices, demanding pending bills. 12 counties, doctors from 12 counties have downed their tools. Which one have I forgotten? Which one am I forgetting? And you can name them. Roads have stalled. So what's happening? We already have problem. We already have a stress in the population. We already have a stress in the civil service. I was just speaking to a gentleman who was telling me that Kevin, my salary has been, you know, become an intoxication on some extent. The investors, the shilling is the shilling is losing its value and we are doing badly now with those problems we have a very stressed population that kind of population is very vulnerable so any slightest opportunity to call for holiday Ryan Odinga have said it is a national holiday and uh, because people are going for mass action and they're not going to work and then the civil servants don't have money County workers don't have money. Who gonna go to work? Even without deploying the police to counter Azimio rallies, you should already you will really paralyze the nation. So that is why they are trying their best. And I've always said that this solution, you no, know, solution is not on the streets. You know, there is one thing I, I once engaged with um, I once had one on one with Rayo Dinga some time back. Huh? Let me not mention one. You know, Raila is a man who is listening. By the way, Nile, he must not do what you are saying. But he's a man who will always listen. That's that's the strength that maybe people take it as weakness that oh and Kubali handshake and Kubali, it's because of the listening. That is why there is a difference between Raila Dinga and Bobby Wayne. <laughs> you know, that's it. So um Ude do not want a situation where Raila is calling for mass action and the population is already stressed. It cannot be managed. May not be managed. 
and look at also coupled with another virus we have a virus that we planted ourselves called dilapidated economy we are paying debts we don't have money the economy is doing badly and government is saying we don't want to borrow loan to pay salaries we want to collect taxes now if there is mass action and Nairobi uh, the truthful man the deputy president told us that they are losing 2 billion on a day what do you expect the tax count gonna go down that's the truth in it so what what exactly is going on here it's not something that William Ruto wants to welcome at this critical time lastly for quite so long there was a very false narrative or um, let me say not false I want to say it's a very defective narrative let me call it shallow that Uhuru Kenyatta is the man behind mass action. And because of that, there is something that we saw. Um, Uhuru was, there was a bit of targeting Uhuru in all those political discussions. But William Ruta has tried. He's given Uhuru Kenyatta the retirement benefits. Uh, the Northlands ship that was stolen, there is a bit of uh, solution coming up, some people are returning the ship. And they seem to have left the question of Mamangina not out of the picture, even after all that discussion about the land issue. So, if Raina goes back to the street, the puzzle here is, uh, will Uru Kenyatta may not be, still be behind him. So, what is behind it? But it can be highly oiled. And one thing that worries them here is uh, that the thing is new activities are a bit oiled and you wonder how lastly this is it president william ruto knows uh, that compact majority for those who read the book i read known as uh, an enemy of the people by dr slaxen if i'm not wrong no dr slaxen was one of the uh, one of the actors there yes would the team have been applying retaliatory strategies to counter as new the attack on Uhuru Kenyatta's farm was a retaliatory strategy because saying because you are sponsoring protests and protests are destroying other people's businesses so we want to destroy your business. Now the retaliatory strategies which William Ruto do not welcome cannot solve but can escalate the situation. He has known that the team around him are a bit um, insensitive to handle the situation including the security forces. They have been, uh, the, the security officials have been mishandling um, protesters. And it increases, boils the public anger. You never know. This thing is not what William Good wants to hear now. That's my take. Thank you very much for watching. This is the video of um, um, the couple. And for those who are not, I've decided to share it so that you can also know what exactly you're fundraising for. Thank you. Stephen, you told me that um, your wife has a challenge. It's not someone is it's somewhere detained in the hospital. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you take us through what exactly happened or where did it start? Okay, this started after my wife gave birth mm -hmm. at Pumani Hospital. Mm -hmm. Date? You no, know, on date twentieth uh, mm -hmm. February. Mm -hmm. So after she gave birth, um, after mm -hmm. five days. So after five days from nursery, we went back home. Mm. We were just home, things were well. After some few weeks, then wife got complications. Mm -hmm. Alianza could bleed, mm -hmm. mysteriously bleeding, mm -hmm. and I was shocked. Mm -hmm. Ran out to call the doctor, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the doctor told me to bring the lady in the hospital. What mm -hmm. Okay, Naishi Dandora, okay. phase five. Okay. So Dr. Ali Jaribu, Ali Jaribu, mm. Akashindwa, mm -hmm. the lady was seriously bleeding. Mm. Kaniambia ntafte taxi to rush mgonjwa Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. Nikafanya hivo, mm. tukafika Kenyatta. Wakati nilifika Kenyatta, mama alikuwa admitted. Mm -hmm. Na from hapo, so... Alikuwa admitted sasa Kenyatta? Alikuwa admitted Kenyatta. Na wakati ya kwa admitted, eh? 
Um, the the child now what happened? But the child, I, I, I okay. Know, the child by, the, fine. By, the, by the time, but then this is the child. Yeah, and um, this is my baby. Uh, this is your baby, and yeah. the, the baby boy and baby, baby boy. Uh, and Jason. Oh, good. Even my son was born in February. So now, where are you from? First. Okay, right now I'm from the Kenyatta Hospital. Nilipeleka mm mtoto -hmm. kunyonya. And that is how I always do it. Nampeleka ananyonya na mrudisha kwa nyumba. Unampeleka kila siku daily. In the morning ama unakana hii the whole day? No. Mhm. Mm I nampeleka in the evening. Mm -hmm. in the evening. Okay. Yeah. Then uki sasa sasa hii ukitoka ataenda unaenda tu mnalala. Sasa hii nikitoka naenda kwa nyumba. Mm -hmm. So nikiwa pale kwa nyumba mtoto mm -hmm. ana survive na maziwa ya kuchemsha mm. na chemsha na ongeza maji kidogo mm. na that's wow. it wow wow yeah. wow 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 you really 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 impressed me um how about the child yeye yeah, alikuwa sawa hata wakitoka pumwani okay mtoto akiwa wakati tulikuwa tunatoka pumwani mm -hmm. mtoto since alikunywa ile amniotic fluid ile uchafu mm -hmm. so mtoto amekuwa na shida hiyo ya kungorota na ngorota mm -hmm. ni kama anafunga na hewa okay so doctors gave me some medicine mm -hmm. ile ya ku drop kwa mapua wakati anatoa hiyo sauti. Mm -hmm. So hiyo ndo nimekuwa nikitumia mm -hmm. but still at times nasikia anatoa hiyo sauti kama mm -hmm. sasa sasa nasikia na mm -hmm. Yeah. What did the doctors in Kenya say was the problem? Doctors in Kenya waliniambia mm -hmm. mama wakati aliza mm -hmm. kuna vile mtoto alimrarua they mm -hmm. got a tear. Oh. So wali mshona alienda theater waka mshona. Oh, na aliza normal? Aliza normal. Na tea, tea. Okay. So, okay. Wana faa show me what okay. yeah. you may not understand yeah. because yeah. we do have a lady here. Yeah. Okay. So um, so that was what was bringing the complication about the bleeding. Yeah. Guys, uh, I wanted, I was told this and uh, I, I really got really touched by his story, Stephen's story. You know when he was telling me you were in Kenyatta and I was like, yeah. okay, what's going on? Mm -hmm. So it's been it's been there for how many days? Since the second, the second, yeah. The bill is the bill is eighty thousand, eighty thousand. Yeah. Wow. But then now that you take care every evening, when do you go to work? Now do you even go to work now that? No. Uh -huh. Okay. About my work, mm -hmm. I'm a boda boda rider. Na piki piki na indesha ni amuto na ni alone. So wakati nilikuwa na hii shida mm. piki piki ilibidi tu iendelee kufanya kazi sababu inalipwa daily. Mm. So mwenyewe alichukua na mm. nitafuta mwingine aendele. Oh so you what you normally your work is kuendesha boda. Yes. Uh, so because of this you know, that is you, know, you can but then how do you survive? Okay. We should not ask that. Um so should get uh, what 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 is the terms of the loan how much do you pay to get a piki piki loan so that you pay for the boda maybe? Okay for now mm -hmm. um, loan walipandisha nini deposit mm -hmm. kwa saa hii deposit ni 25000 okay then so if you get 25000 yes you go and pay yeah. and you're given a motorbike on loan yeah yeah then you pay in is the rest installment yeah yeah which you can manage i can manage to get 500 per day oh yeah. oh you, you unapata in the around dandora yeah wow 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 guys i brought steven here because I wanted us to get feel of this story, and this is one we can we can do this. We've always done this. This is eighty thousand. Uh, today's date. Today's date fourteen. If you give yourself one week, Friday. Yeah. So let's try. Let's do a twenty a fifty shillings challenge. Um, I've decided not to. I'm going to share the number, nobody's number, because of a bit of that disturbance. But I am. Also asking those who can be willing to reach out, reach out to me. My number is there. I'll directly connect you with him so that whatever God has blessed you with, at least I talk. So, Mama make a hospital for the last two weeks. Yeah. Okay. I know you guys are young couples, huh? Yeah. yeah. Ah, wow, wow, wow. Thank you. And may God bless you for being a father to this child. Mm -hmm. I know it's, it's, it's really, it's really touching. It's really touching the heart and, uh, I believe that as Bold family, we will. This will come to an end. I know we will find a way. Okay. I appreciate. Sir, Asante. Aya.